Hi everyone, welcome back here at Scylla's Corner. My name's Scylla, I'm so happy to see you here again. If you're returning, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I promise you will not be disappointed. If you're into subscriptions or gift baskets, like this little number here, or hauls or maybe a little how-to along the way, this is definitely the channel for you. I've already done at least one haul. I do subscriptions all the time and I'm always adding new ones. As you can see, we do a ton of gift baskets of all price ranges, small to more expensive, to men, females, even the gift baskets are for everyone um, and all types. And we have a ton of new fun things that will be coming up from more hauls that I have planned in the next few months new subscriptions that I'm adding. I've got snack subscriptions, you name it, we have it. So definitely come check us out, all my other videos, and subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up, say hello, say where you're from, and I'll gladly welcome you personally to the channel. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right into this, because this is heavy and I kind of need to put it down. <laughs> this, we haven't, I realized this morning something when I was going through trying to plan the videos that by right, I do Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Saturday is my makeup day. If for some reason one of the days during the week just went kind of like, uh-oh. Um, <laughs> I do the third day on Saturday. So guarantee you will always get three days worth of videos, which guarantees three videos. But honestly, let's be honest here. I do two to three a day at least. So there's that. I am actually thinking about joining on a fourth day soon. So there's always that. Um... But this is by Amazon. You'll notice I do a lot of gift baskets from Amazon. I absolutely love them. They're convenient. They're stuff. And I pay for this with my own money. I pay for almost all of them with my own money. I always tell you if it's not, and you will always get an honest review no matter what it is. Um, this is the King of the Grill gift basket by Gift Basket Village. They say it's for men, but come on now. If you're into grilling or cooking a lot, like even like me I grew up a little bit more country -ish. this is definitely something even I was interested in and never mind when you do gift baskets like this from places you see these gorgeous baskets that you get I have been able to decorate my house so well over the last few months with all these gift baskets and never mind give some of them as actual gift baskets I've taken the baskets the ones I was like in about and actually turned into around Thanksgiving Christmas gift baskets that I filled with goodies and gave to some of our family and friends and stuff like that. So there's multiple uses even just for the basket it comes in, which is something I always look for. I always do, I'm just gonna grab my little opener. I always do um, a lot of research on anything before I put it on the channel. Sometimes I still get a little messed up there, but shit, stuff happens. <laughs> I have to be careful on YouTube. Um, well, let's jump into it. This one is nine pounds heavy. And honestly, it kind of even feels heavier than that in all truth. It is a big basket. They, Like I said, they say it's for men, so it'll be great for a nice gift or homewarming gift to some little fella in your life. Um, this is one of the more expensive gift baskets. This one is $116.90. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon, but I was intrigued. I love grilling, and I'm kind of looking forward to this winter to be over and nice summer weather so I can get together with friends again and, you know, socialize. <laughs> and never mind, grill food is just, I love cooking and I love baking. I do a ton, but I love grills. So, never mind, these bowls are always really nice for do-it-yourselfers, too. Get this off. Hopefully that's not too too loud in front of the, the speaker thing. There, we'll just drop it there. I'll pick it up later. Oh jeez, this basket is just way too heavy. Um, <laughs> but for the price, I'm glad it is. We're just gonna set it here. You can still kind of see it on camera, which is nice. It looks like there's a huge ray of stuff. We'll get to the basket last, and I'll really try to show it off. But my god, okay, let's just start. It is definitely taped in real well, so nothing's going to fall out of place, even with its weight and, you know, moving and shipping and all that fun stuff that happens. Let me just try to pull out one item here. Well, oh, it's got dry little, like, um, oh, I just blinked on the name of these. Uh, ah! Succulent, succulent plants. <laughs> there it is. 
It's got tons of little dry one as like a little decoration around the basket, which you could put together and definitely use in future do, do you, DIY projects, which is really neat. And I mean, there's a good amount of them. They're like everywhere. Okay, first thing I pulled out that is honestly full of tape, that's a little annoying, and squigglies, <laughs> is Honey Barbecue Sauce by Stonewall Kitchen. I actually buy stuff from Stonewall Kitchen, so I actually like that. This is gluten-free, non-GMO. You get 330 milliliters or 11 fluid ounces. I mean, it's heavy. And I love cooking with barbecue sauces and the grill and things, so this is definitely something that will go not go to waste in my house. That actually looks really good. It looks thicker and all that, so definitely pleased there already. Next, let's pull out this one. Ugh, I'm making a disaster with these like bright red squigglies. Okay, next is by Holiday's Harvest Barn of Vermont. Ooh, backyard barbecue rub this is barbecue rub for chicken and ribs and non-gmo gluten-free all natural one ounce and then it's actually got like a how to on the back how to use it if maybe you're new to grilling which is kind of nice and there's that and it's actually got a decently strong scent because i can smell that through it. It's got a very like earthy scent if that makes sense. You know like um, more of the smoky is probably a better word. But I like that. Ooh, I really like that. That kind of makes me want a barbecue now. Oh, Our grill thing froze unfortunately. I'm stuck until it thaws. Um, hopefully I don't have to buy a new one. Um, this is a jalapeno pepper processed cheese stick it says by Gilman. Well, my husband would probably want something that used on something of his. Come on. Come on, Cameron. There we go. Um, I don't like spice, but I won't let anything go to waste, so. Next, we got a little sausage. Just this spicy beef summer sausage by Smoky Valley. Stuff you see usually on, like, um... A nice cracker platter, usually around the holidays, at least in mine. But I wonder if you can like freeze that or whatever. And if you know, let me know down below, and then I can save it for other meals. Because I mean, I won't let anything go to waste. And if none of us will eat it, I have tons of family or friends that will gladly take this stuff. <laughs> Come on, get off. We got another sausage here. This is beef summer sausage, the normal one by Smoke Valley as well. And then we actually got a tool here, which I absolutely love, and more of the little greenery. This is a beer can chicken roaster, which I've used these in the past, and I actually don't have one at the moment, so this is super neat to finally have again. And it's sturdy. I mean, this doesn't feel like it's going to bend at all. Ah, my hair. Um, this, this is nice. I love the fact of getting this. That definitely made this basket a little bit more worth it. Don't mind me. My tea. Absolutely love it. Okay. Next. Come on. Ah! Nothing in the bag. Okay. <laughs> you can see this stuff everywhere. This is Lost Olives Baking Company Wine and Cheese Biscuits doesn't really say much else about them so it looks like it gave you like a whole appetizer thing along with so far a barbecue and a seasoning which is kind of nice because you got the crackers you got some cheese and meat so it kind of gave a whole platter there which I like um, it looks like we got another snack here the boxes are gonna be a little ripped up afterwards but that's only because they're like really taped together they wanted to make sure nothing happened to this I'm sorry if you can hear some of my kids in the background but this is the snack mix, a delicious combination of pretzels, nuts, sesame seed sticks, and rice snacks. Okay. Something intrigued. I would just use this probably as a normal snack, though, in my house. Kind of like a Chex Mix, but 
not cereal. <laughs> um, okay. Next, what is this? This is bacon and cheddar chive flavor. Oh, cheese spread for like on some of the crackers. That one's a little bit more intriguing to me. Definitely a summer vibe with this box. I mean, I know it was for grilling, but I kind of expected more grilling stuff in it. Like that tool or barbecue sauce. Not so many snacks. But, oh, thinking of. Here's actually another rub, it says. This one's sweet and spicy jerk chicken barbecue, um, backyard barbecue rub by Holiday Harvest Barn again. And that smells like jerk chicken to me, but it actually smells a little sweeter than I would normally know for that type of chicken. So that's a little bit interesting. Kind of curious to see how that will turn out. Same size as the other one. Um, what's this? Okay. Oh, okay. Everyone knows, well, at least for me, if you're barbecuing and you got meat and veggies grilled on a thing, another nice savory dish to put with it at least for me is like a chili and this is the farm has chili in mild chili seasoning by holiday harvest barn they did a lot with this company in this ba basket i don't know why my can there we go my camera's having so many issues today sorry about that and then we have roasted almonds 1.4 ounce just exactly as they say And it looks like we got three more items in here. What is this? This is Swiss flavor cheese process. A lot of cheese in this. I'm not really caring for that. But like I said, I can promise nothing will go to waste. I'll either be giving a small gift basket to one of our friends soon or... Not. Oh, I like There was a hidden little tiny piece back here. We'll get the good one next. This seems like one of the good items. This is the Maple Chipotle Grill Grilling Sauce by Stonewall Kitchen. And it's nice. That one is definitely thick. You can tell looking at the thing. I know my husband would probably absolutely love this. And if not, I have a few friends that would come over and probably eat this up. Um, especially uh, with Chipotle. Probably add it to some pork. I know it sounds weird, but you'd be shocked. Uh, where do I put it? There. I'll just put it here. Make sure that's still working because <laughs> I hit my speaker thing. And then the last two items minus the basket itself is Moment Mini Original Water Crackers. That's new. So with all that cheese spread, they actually gave you some more crackers, which is nice. I don't know what I'm like I said I think some of that's going to be going to other people and that's a big box of it and then this has been a huge thing in basket baskets lady like this little snack these are the almond chocolate nor norand biscotti biscotti there we go and it's the ones that got a little like chocolate thing on the bottom and like nuts drilled across the top. I mean, they are good, but you can only so many of them. And I've gotten a lot of these in gift baskets lately. I don't know why they're being such cheap things. And there's a ton of squigglies, but let's just take a moment for this basket. I mean, this basket is absolutely deliciously, I mean, it's perfect. This is definitely one that will be kept in my house. It's got like a three-tier growing, go all the way up, actually all the way around it's two-tone this part is definitely lighter than the like the ones going up and I don't know they're like wrapped with some kind of twine rope I absolutely love that I can see that with like fruit on the center of the table or maybe even some um, little decorations like Easter coming up I can put actual grass type stuff down below with like little bunny and eggs and that would make a perfect centerpiece for that so many ideas going through my head and so many ideas even for normal stuff in the house. I mean, I'm a crafter and everything else, so baskets and never mind just my style will absolutely look perfect, especially my new home. He well, that's about it for this one. Like I said, that was $116.90. I'm going to give this one, uh, ooh, I don't know. I liked that and that. 
Okay, I'm going to be fair, but I'm going to be critical, and I'm going to give this one like a 6 out of 10. They had some definitely stuff I loved. You got two rubs, you got two barbecue sauce, and the actual thing for the beer chicken to stand up on. But after those five items, there was a ton of items, but they were all like snack and cheese and meats and crackers and stuff like that. And this was supposed to be a grilling basket. So definitely iffy. I do like the stuff and they brand names and everything like that. So definitely, like I said, probably a six-ish. Um, out of 10 not my favorite basket worth the price I mean that basket alone is probably 20 bucks and I know the little stand is I think like 10 the sauces can be actually expensive so I mean I mean that's a little inflated I mean if you actually count it each item in and thing it might be like dead on but it does seem a tad bit expensive to me but um I'm still okay happy with it I mean I bought it. I can't be too upset. There, it, I can guarantee use everything in it or I know someone that will guarantee be like all over anything that I might be willing to give him out of this. So, um, like I said, can't be too upset. I'm still very happy about this. I'll see you guys here again real soon. I love you guys. Mwah! Bye.